Welcome to Save India's Coast. Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh has called the recent tsunami that hit Japan's coast as a wake-up call. But there are many protective elements on our own coastline that we've been misusing, some out of ignorance and others intentionally. Tonight, we're talking about sand dunes. On the Kandolim beach in Goa, the government has spent six crore rupees to undo the effects of the devastation caused to sand dunes, all of which could have been prevented in the first place. These tourists are having a harmless drink on the beach. And although they don't know it, they're breaking the rules. According to CRZ 2011, no activity is allowed on sand dunes. But all along the Kandolim beach, one of Goa's most popular beaches, shacks have been built by cutting through the dunes. And wide roads have been carved out of sand dune belts. The term sand dune doesn't do justice to what this mound of sand is on the beach. A sand dune is to the seashore what a coral reef is to the sea. A nursery for vegetation and a mini ecosystem. As ordinary as it looks, a sand dune isn't just a hillock on which to stand atop and admire the view. It could even save lives if a tsunami hits. Today's situation, what has happened in Japan, the tidal wave was, was 10 meters high, that is 30 feet. Now many of these sand dunes could be able to withstand and break the effect of any tidal, any tide that comes in of that size. On Kandalam, where every inch of sand is prime real estate, sand dunes are fighting a losing battle. These shrubs grow on sand dunes. Their roots hold the sand together. Clearly this was once a sand dune, but now only its remnants are visible. As sand dunes have been wiped out, the beach has eroded, leading the government to spend six crores to lay miles and miles of these black tubes to stall or slow down the erosion process. And even that was blotched out. The work started in during the during just few days before the monsoon. And that was a bad idea. It uh, there, there are two things. Engineers know the best, but either the work would have been done during the fair uh, season, which would have allowed the geotubes to settle well before the yeah. monsoon strike came in. And overall cost was six crores. The the project is uh, a geotube project was lined up for around six point two three crores. Six crores of the public taxpayers' money washed away because of a lack of effective conservation strategies, and no. We're not making a mountain out of a molehill. Well, we're wrapping up our stint in Goa and heading off to Mangalore. But before that, we asked Goa's chief minister if he was aware of the sand dune problem and what he intends to do about it. All around the beach, in Kandolim, for example, shacks are coming up on sand dunes. All the vegetation on the sand dune is completely big ruined. There are restrictions, but these aren't being followed. Shacks, again I'm saying, Traditional shacks have been going on for the last so many years in the state of Goa. Mm -hmm. And that is why Jairam Ramesh, when he came to Goa, he had visited Goa, he has seen with his own eyes. And I am thankful to him that they have put up a separate chapter in the CRZ notification about these temporary structures we are erected during the season and demolished after the season. If there are any violations, there are clear-cut guidelines issued by the tourism department. And that is why tourism department continuously monitors. And wherever they find any irregularity, they take action. We've heard both the Prime Minister and the Environment Minister talk about lessons learned from Japan and how we need to protect our coast. Goa is the first state in our country who would need to do this. Have you learned lessons from what we're seeing that's happened in Japan? We, we, we will take all the steps. There will be no compromise in seeing that the coasts are properly protected, taking into consideration what happened in Japan. I have clearly said that right to clean environment is a fundamental right. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if people have to survive in this world, in this state, yeah. they also require development. Mm -hmm. So the role of the government, good government, is to have sustainable development. Mm -hmm. A development where we try to do development, at the same time, try to strike a balance between the development and environment. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis and much more.
download free. ndtv.com slash apps.